on this episode of The NES Pursuit. Another copy that's a Rev A copy that's completely mint. for us here on Retro Liberty is usually Guys Night, Game Night. Now, this week is a little different because we're on week two going through all six Star Wars movies to gear up for the new Star Wars movie coming out on Christmas or December in that area. And we're on episode two tonight, and it actually is May the 4th, so we're excited, we're stoked, but we're going to start off with some food. Actually, at kind of a new place for us, a place called Freebirds. Andy, <laughs> you want more Jar Jar in your life? You never have too much Jar Jar. Tell me your favorite thing about Jar Jar. I'm going to say it's his Jamaican accent. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty solid. Jar Jar, what's your favorite about Jar Jar? There is nothing that I like about Jar Jar. I'm sorry. Oh. You? I don't even like him, tell you the truth. He's kind of klutzy. Hey, klutzy Jamaican alien? <laughs> Come on. Hey, what's not to like? Wait. So we've mentioned this briefly on the show, but more on social media. We've all been kind of on a diet. I've lost about 20 pounds, Andy's down 50 pounds, and Ricky's about 13 down right now. So this is usually kind of our cheat night, and we're going to enjoy. Hey, is it, too, is it bad that I'm looking around and I don't know what to order? Uh, hey, every, uh, everything has carbs, dude. This is Mexican food. Ricky, do you like this place better than Chipotle? I get a free bird on fire. Why is this place better than Chipotle? This place is better than Chipotle because I work here. I make these burritos. Hey, the, the truth is different. It is different. It's different. We, we mix it up, we roll it different, everything about it is better. This is like homemade Chipotle tonight. If you get out of a roach coach or something. Yeah. This is all homemade and it's made with love. Like, I made that steak for you guys. Thank you. So. Ooh, thank you. Some uh, guy named Jose Pueblo invented the burrito. Named it after his mom, Burrita. <laughs> True story. Wait a second. Yeah. Do you expect me to believe that there is a Mexican named Jose? Do you like the, the, pe the Latin people? Don't open up this angle. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Well, that was that. Now we're back at Andy's and ready to watch the movies on the projector. We're still excited. We know it's episode two and not everyone's that stoked on it, but we're going to enjoy it. We have fun with it. We're excited just to get, in, you know, our Star Wars groove. So let the night begin. What are you going to do? Come on. Sorry. <laughs> What's your favorite video game? Mine? I actually have lots. Tell me your, some of your favorites. Mm, Pokemon. Okay. Mm, Nintendo Land. Ooh. That's a good one. Mm, Super Smash. Mario Kart. Minecraft. Nintendo Land. Pokemon Y. And Mario Kart 8. What's better, old video games or new video games? New. How come? Because... They look real. More blankets. Welcome back, <laughs> Julian. Julian, everybody liked you, you on the last episode. Wow. Can you tell them why you're such a sensation? I'm a fish Shut one. up. <laughs> you're such a dork. He sat up in front of everybody's faces. Oh, I'm so sorry. If we ignore him, he, he goes. He keeps saying that, so there probably are like mean comments or something. There's no mean comments. <laughs> 
The only mean comments are always towards me. Aww. <laughs> Kaden, what's your favorite thing about Star Wars? All the Fighties. Ooh, who's your favorite character? Luke Skywalker and Darth, and Darth Vader. Who's your favorite character? Anakin and Luke Skywalker. The only downside to watching a movie outside in a projector is that you have to wait for the sun to go down in order to get like a clean picture and actually see what you're watching. So the sun is down and we're excited. And one of my favorite things about every Star Wars movie is just hearing that intro music. <laughs> SC3. S to the C to the 3. We're gonna go. So, SC3 is a convention that happens locally here in Southern California at least once or twice a year, and we love these. Every time we go, we're super excited. We have so much fun, and we actually get some really good deals and prices. So, we're excited. What turbo games do you got? Um, do like Keith Courage, uh, Take It to the Hoop, you know, rare. Rare games. You know how awesome this would look in the game room? I could be Dom. Just because he's the Mexican guy. I think Gears of War. <laughs> oh, God. Cole would kill me. What the heck is that? Ooh, how much are you asking for this guy? But this is sexy. Look at that. Heck yeah. Cody. That is Cody, right? Why the heck is he always in chains on the new ones? Did he go to jail? So as you can see, the second Ricky and I walked in, things were already going on. I mean, the event was in full swing. Everyone was making deals, trades, selling stuff, and it was just super exciting to be a part of. And right away when we walk in and see a box full of NES games, well, that's like gold to us. Oh, this is a great game right here. Probably my favorite Batman game on the NES. It has it all. It's almost like a Super Nintendo one. Seriously, it's almost as good as Return, Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo. That one's still the best. Sorry. It's fun, but I never played it. Good? I think it is. I haven't spent too much time on it, but it's, it's first impressions are it's better than I was uh, assuming <laughs> coming into it. Wait, is it RPG? No, it's like a side scroller. Um, I don't know if it's beat him up necessarily. But... How much? 92, I think I had it. Ooh. I did not know this was... Yeah, I was like, dude. So to each their own on this topic, but condition is something that people talk about a lot with, you know, when dealing with retro games. And to me, condition isn't super important. To me, it's more about just if the game will actually play and work. But hey, like I said, to each their own. Again, I want to trade on that because oh, I want trade. something in my collection. Gotcha. Because... It's, I mean, I've got actually have a better copy here. Look, you got to see the back. Of it. I have a uh, um, another copy that's a Rev A copy that's completely 
plastic mint. Like the plastic was taken off and was never taken off. There's no folding on the uh, on the well, my copy. There's no folding on the flap or anything. It's just it's my baby. Thirty-five bucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's just to keep it flat. It's yeah, I'm buying. Yeah, I'm buying something. How much? Yeah, thirty-five bucks. Take it or leave it, dude. Woo. So Ricky, as you guys know or may not know, Ricky's been super into TurboGrafx-16 lately. It's just been something that he's kind of honed in on. And right away he runs into our buddies, David Kim, Syphic, R-Rob, Air Force Shields, and some other guys. And they're kind of like the TurboGrafx-16 guys. So they got a lot for Ricky to work with. I'm gonna spend all my money today. Oh, no. what happened? Celebrity, yep. celebrity discounts. <laughs> <laughs> celebrity <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was just, hey, I was just talking about this game that I was going to get this today. Take it to the hoop. You know, rare. <laughs> you know, that, that's the reason no, 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 I got the first time I was like, okay, I know what happened. Three messages later, I was like, hey, you think about what? Five players, five players on the one. <laughs> really? <laughs> but you're going to have a turbo tap. Where is it? How much? Oh, sorry, I mean, For you, uh, ten bucks, half price. Celebrity discount. Anyone? Celebrity discount. Anyone, celebrity <laughs> discount. <laughs> celebrity <laughs> discount. <laughs> so at this point, Ricky's like on Cloud Nine Turbo Graphics. I mean, I looked over at him, and all I see him doing is giggling with the guys over there, all stoked about the deals and the fun he's having. And I can't blame him. He's kind of in his little gold mine shell right now. Our tech is actually good. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, that was actually really good. Yeah. I was about to get Bloody Wolf. No, that's good. How much for Bloody Wolf? It's con yeah. like Contra, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Contra and what else? Uh, yeah, like that Neo Geo game. Um, Metal Slug? No, no, not Metal no. Slug. The, uh, you know, Shock Troopers. Shock Troopers. If you like Shock Troopers, you'll like that game, yeah. He's like, what's a Shock Trooper? <laughs> <laughs> and they're taking it to the hoop, the rare. Ooh, ultra rare. It, you know? Here it is. That's the rare hoop. Taking it to the hoop. Well, needless to say, Ricky was there for a while and got basically everything you're seeing in his hands right now, and he got a really, really, really good deal on all this stuff, so. Good for him, but next I walk into a guy and wanted to talk to him because he had a marquee for Donkey Kong signed by some of the most important names in Donkey Kong. I want to say, what, four or five years ago, this was uh, this guy Richie Knuckles, his name's on the marquee. He put together the whole uh, Kong off. I think they've done it three times so far now, but it got together all the top players in the world that played Donkey Kong in one place and had them play off. Uh, this marquee was to commemorate that first Kong off, and it was autographed by all the top players that were playing Donkey Kong at the time. I believe there's somebody else with the world record today, but limited edition, you know, one of 117 of them, so kind of a neat little collectible. So I picked this up at a um, swap meet in Torrance. Nice. So I paid $2 for it. So $2, $5 after cleaning it, it's all yours if you want. $5. Five bucks. So. I needed somewhere to buy in yes. I'm not taking this back home. <laughs> <laughs> my wife would kick my ass. <laughs> Thanks. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Genesis box. Everybody flipped out on us last weekend when we put that video up and we skipped out on a box. It was 30 bucks complete, but 10 bucks, I only need the box. I got like 20 Genesis. There you Thank go. you, sir. Dude, that's, that's quality right there. I know, look at that. The good guys agrees. After beating myself brutally last time I edited the NES Pursuit and missing out on the Genesis box, I am so thankful to get one this week. Degrees. But now it's my, ooh, I like this back better than the other one, the one we had with all the text. Oh, here you go. What games are back here? Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Ren and Stimpy Show. What's the best game on the back of this? I would say Shinobi 3 or Gunstar Heroes. That's kind of an obvious one. Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar Heroes, you say? Yeah. Good stuff. I'm excited. Very, very stoked. Very happy to have it. This is the core system, baby. Yeah. Alright. Pokedex. Ooh, another sticker pack. And 
Those are actually really good. All right. And then Ricky has one in the box. How much is this guy? Are these real? Yes. I thought I would ask him my one dollar bill. Those are real. Like, uh, five bucks. Oh. And then five bucks? Yeah. Sequential. <laughs> I, I do it. Really, it's really good. Yeah. It's Super Bad 64, it's the one that you have complete in box. <laughs> God, I hate those. <laughs> Why? Uh, the Z button underneath only pulls in exactly straight, so you just, it doesn't go out in the angle. I used to have one a lot as a kid for wrestling games. Really I like though. the. I personally like the hold of this better. I've never been a fan of the, like a lot of people of the feel of the 64 controller, like that. And I'm the guy that never held it like this. I still hold it like this no matter what I'm playing. So this to me makes more sense. Here, you don't even want those. I like it. I have about 40 of those. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Not only did he give me my change correctly, but look at the change he gave me. A two, a two, and a one. Sick. You don't see that often. You gave me twos. Yeah. I just got How much for more $2 bills? <laughs> one more $2 bills. Convert it to pesos. It's better. And what else? It's about 24 of them. Look at his shirt. What? What, what is this? I don't know what that even is. I don't really like that. We've said it before, but as gamers and collectors of video games, the most important thing in gaming is actually playing video games. I am your geeky tipster. Yours too, man. I am yours. I, 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 I am yours. You are mine. Yes. I watch <laughs> you. No! Tell them what you do. You might as well. I uh, do YouTube videos uh, basically about gaming, uh, technology, anything geek related. It's kind of my thing, you know? Are you find anything yet? Or? Uh, yeah, actually. I got a couple games here. I got uh -oh. uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, so good. Nice. And Silent that. Hill. Oh, shit. You, got, you got, got like the two. <laughs> right, <laughs> right? The, we got those as soon as we walk in. Golden they, choices. Yeah. May, may we ask how much you got Silent Hill for? Um, you know I don't know exactly how much because we kind of did a bundle deal. Uh, but it. he got some games with me and it was all like 50 bucks together. I represent peace and knowledge. So at conventions, kind of like the swap meet but a little different. When the night goes on, basically everything's been picked through because people know exactly where everything is really. So it's more just about hanging out at this point in the night at conventions. <laughs> there it is. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sweet holy mother. So I'm just standing there and I see someone walk over and pick up something freaking amazing, freaking awesome that I haven't seen. A Sega Genesis kiosk. Oh my god, I was drooling. So I was pretty Chris. still okay. Do it, dude. Ready, set, go. We're good. Yeah, come on the table over here. Just slide it right on. So without me explaining, I think you can see for yourselves that this thing was beautiful. It worked amazingly. Everybody was excited about it. I was kind of waking out. I'm not going to lie. I know I couldn't afford the price tag, but it actually did sell right away. I'd say about two minutes, no more than five minutes after it was pulled out. So good for the guy that bought it. Dude, I was just talking about marquees. I saw Eric pick, pick a bunch up. I was like, yes, she found an alpha one. But look at this Mario Bros. Yeah, that's the one. Heavy as hell. would look pretty sick in the game room. Yeah, it is. Like, cut them Yes, there is nothing better than we're at a convention and last minute someone shows up who is running late with a box full of games to sell and we were actually like one of the first people at the box so it's time to dig. Riggy, so Famicom clones are there. Oh, right? that's true. I tell you what, so what, are, I what are these? Bucks on the nice. Yeah. What? I'm wondering if that'll work on my uh, oh, 
Is that for Mega Drive? Yeah, it's for Mega Drive. J JVC, I have a... And it worked. I have a JVC X9. Really? I, I don't know. The earlier Mega Drive games, yeah. they, they do they do play on. Okay, okay, it played on that right there when I tested it on the, on the kiosk. Okay, what are you selling on the kiosk? Um, 450, yeah. the best offer. Yeah, what is it? Sega Genesis, Japanese version. Or real sport version. Oh, that scared the hell out of me! Loving home. Dude, this is all you, man. It needs a loving home. Look at this. I don't need this crap. Get off me. Yeah. One of my favorite things about SC3 is that they always do raffle offs at the end of the night with some really cool stuff. So Ricky bought some tickets and hung out there for a while. Right. Oh, Mad Magazine, the Pac Man is gone. Oh, four, eight, six, nine. Well, we didn't win anything in the raffle, but that's okay. If the money goes towards anything that is related to getting another one of these conventions up and running, we're down with it and we're thankful. So the night's actually over for Ricky and I and it's time for us to get in the car and head home. <laughs> Goodbye! Later guys! Yeah. 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 I'm up! Well, that's it for us here this year at SC3. And I have to say this is personally the best experience I've had so far here at SC3. I can't really put my finger on why. Now, maybe it's because we go here every year and we see a lot of the same people and we're building a stronger sense of community, but I just love it. And well, you guys know where to find us. We'll catch you guys again here soon on another episode of The NES Pursuit. Aaron, can I, can I borrow some money? This is weird not having a cameraman. I know. It's, like, it's, it's just me. It's just not fun. It's not the same. No. Why don't, you do, why don't you do selfie mode? Technically, we could with this big thing. <laughs> could record the whole episode. Like, it's yeah. heavy, dude. You guys have no idea how heavy this thing is. I'm carrying my hands shaking. Keeping it retro. Aaron farted. And then this thing about, this song came on about smelling, and then he started busting up. It's probably the greatest thing that happened tonight.